I'm Myrna. Hi, Marv. It's me, Joyce. Oh, hi, Joyce. I couldn't unmute for a while there. Hmm. And I kept saying, hi, Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, cousin? Girl, it's been a busy, busy day as usual. Yes, I know. Um, I just, we were just eating and I looked, I said, Marvel. It's 745. <laughs> mm -hmm. and this is how I had gotten on the other day and nobody was there. And I said, it is two minutes to eight and nobody's on. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I got off, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I saw again Marvel's name up there. So I said, oh, they are on. Mm -hmm. But nobody else. It's eight o'clock p.m. But Tina sent us a message that she... Today is her birthday. Oh. And Tom is taking her out for dinner. Uh-huh. And I remember, I'm sitting here now and just remembering that last week, Elton said his wife, I think he's taking his wife out for dinner. Yes, so maybe nobody's coming on. <laughs> but we're going to have all what uh, Easterns. Yeah. I'm Larry. <laughs> he's going to be late. Yeah. Um, well, um, I know Mart is coming on. I hear his throat. <laughs> you hear my throat. <laughs> we are here, but I can't see anybody yet. I don't know what's going on. Oh, well, I, I, I forgot. I didn't open myself. Didn't open my okay, yes, open now. So you can see my head. Yeah, I see your head, Myrna. <laughs> now I see your mouth. <laughs> How are you doing there? Hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. Hello. Hello, you guys. Heard, How you doing? I heard Joyce. Mm -hmm. Here I am. So I'm like here, Marva. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. Martha, I'm sorry, Larry. I didn't mean you, baby. <laughs> I was talking to you. 
Hey, it's okay. <laughs> Hi, sister. Good to see you guys. Hi, Larry. Hello, how you doing? I'm oh, pretty good. Hi, Larry. Good. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Larry. Whatever you're eating look good, Larry. Mm. <laughs> Apple with peanut. <laughs> Apple with peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. I like yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. it's good to eat nothing. I couldn't eat it. That is good. It's very good. Yes, it is. Mm. That's very delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm try it. No? I must... yes, you never tried it? Nope. I never yes. tried it either. I have to try that. Apple yes. and peanut butter yes. is very good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, kids, the kids love it. <laughs> Little kids love apple and peanut butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a candy apple. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I liken it to, like a candy apple. No, oh, okay. I like, but... I like especially with green apples. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. oh I bet yep. that's good. The Granny Smith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw a coworker of mine doing it once, and then I asked her, um, she had the apple cut in fours, and she showed me she had a slice of the apple. Mm -hmm. That's a man that's neat. Following day, she brought me one, and but she used to eat peanut butter and um, apple all the time. I couldn't believe it. But mm -hmm. I, I guess that's a treat now. I told yeah. you know, about it too. John Joyce, so, um, Larry doing it. Mm -hmm. I, oh, yeah. I'll I, I give it a try. You know, my, my girlfriend Ernestine told me that, um, um, what you call it? Uh, graham crackers and peanut butter is really, really good. I used mm -hmm. to eat a child. Yeah. Yeah, that would be, I think that would be good. You think that is graham crackers? Yeah. And put peanut butter on it. Yeah, that's yeah, that would, great. That mm -hmm. Well, I, talking about that, I had for the first time yesterday yeah. pretzel stuffed mm -hmm. with peanut butter. I love mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. delicious. And mm -hmm. So it's just the peanut butter. I want you all to know. I love it. I love it. Yeah, like me not mother and sandwich. Peanut butter and jelly, huh? Peanut yeah. butter, peanut yeah. butter was good because even like with celery sticks. Yep. Yeah. You no, know, people serve those mm -hmm. at, like um as mm -hmm. appetizers, you know. Hors or hors. Um, I remember that, that at school that was the first. Snack that I really remember having peanut butter and celery. That, that, oh, that, really? <laughs> for, for our recess or something, you know, they want to give us a snack. That was that was their go-to. So mm -hmm. Tina and Tommy went out to dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I remember for her today's her birthday, and I think I remember Elton saying last week that he was yep. taking his wife out to dinner for her birthday. Yep. Right. Yep. Oh, yes, and I think they mentioned that they have the same birthdays. Yes, didn't they? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I closed it. Oh. So, so uh, I, I, just a few minutes before I logged on, I just yeah. sent you guys uh, some notes on, on Anna. Oh, it's not okay. very see. well written, but uh, it has the information in there that, you know, okay. this, Anna was. Uh, she didn't have a whole lot written about her, but you know, no, she was no, a she good didn't. example for us. <clears throat> I have to tell you a joke about my sister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sister. She came out and told me because I was here working on my minutes. And she came out and she said, Well, I read Hannah. <laughs> and she, she mentioned Samuel. And I, you know, I was so busy into what I was doing, I didn't pay much attention. I said, mm -hmm. oh, that's good. So I told her, well, we only have a few minutes and I have not read anything about it. And you know, I didn't her. read it. I listened to it. But then, yeah. But then, um, so I said, I started to tell her a little bit about Anna. And she said, is her name spelled H-A-N-N-A-H? -A -N -N -H? I said, no. It's mm -hmm. She said, oh, I read the wrong person. <laughs> 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 Well, in, in Hebrew, her name is Hannah. So, oh, okay. Yeah. That, but, yeah, that's what I, yeah, I think I read that. But I read yeah. about Hannah and Penina and Elkanah. <laughs> 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 so, 
Oh, anyway, let me see if I see it. Mm. Yeah, this is one of the shortest chapters that we uh, have, or at least one of the uh, people who had the least amount of um, yeah. playtime in the Bible. She, it was only three verses that mentioned her, but she, she made right. it. <laughs> There it is. Mm -hmm. I don't see it. Oh, yeah, this one. I have it on my <coughs> tablet. What? I have it on my tablet. What Larry sent? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Larry, oh, has, have you heard anything about Jo, how she's doing? No, I have not. They said she, um, She's been getting a little bit better, but not, nothing as far as like a, a time to return to back to mm -hmm. church or back to the Bible study. But she is progressing. She's at um, in Oakland, still go, doing the physical therapy. Excuse me. But it's, it's been taking some time for her to get back to, you know, where she was before yeah. she had the, the, the incident. And she had already had like some issues with her knees prior mm -hmm. to the incident <clears throat> so it's taking a little bit more time because even before the incident she, she had uh some, some mobility challenges oh boy wow mm -hmm. you know that's interesting <laughs> because ron's knee let me try to send it to you flared up also mid during mm. the, during the time of treatment and he didn't know anything was wrong with that knee before right and they held him back oh, from I'm progressing good. Yeah, knees are like one of the um, well, that's what I said. most important things to try to take care of. And, and uh -huh. most of us, have, especially if we were like, you know, active, our knees are the first things to go because we constantly pounding the pavement. And right. with the uh, most of where we have our interaction is semen, you know, mm -hmm. and semen is the worst, pay, um, the worst ground to have to walk on. Okay. Um, and at our job, they, you know, they they usually put some type of uh before they put the tile down, you know, have some type of um padding under that. And uh, at our job, they had to redo like a whole section of juvenile hall because they didn't put padding down. And uh -huh. they did a study saying that if they didn't redo it, then half of the employees would be, you know, ha have lasting injuries, you know, so. Mm -hmm. They have to shut down one area and redo that whole section. And older buildings in like, I don't think they were putting padding under the tile and, you know, doing, taking those precautions. So these are the, one of the first things to go. Yeah, so many people. Joyce, and for me, um, I had a knee injury, so I, I really am, you know, kind of conscious about how, how my knee treatment is, you know, and trying to exercise and, and strengthen them. Right. Here it is. I'm sending this to Joyce. She couldn't open it. Oh. So I'm, I'm sending it to her. Okay. See. I think I sent it from my... what I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to print it for me too. Here it is. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get my uh, my notepad. Okay. Uh. You know what? Mm -hmm. Okay. Robert, I'm going to print this. Uh -huh. oh, <laughs> Marva's favorite caller. Who Marva, is that? Grace. Grace Jameson. Oh, wow. Calls I, haven't, I haven't heard that name in ages. She calls Marva several times. She's losing her memory, you know. Oh, she is. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. 
she calls her several times and she'll tell her the same thing over and over. And <laughs> what can we say? That's what's up, you know. Oh, That's what's up. My girlfriend Ursula just lost her husband. Ursula, it's... her name is familiar. Lighter. I don't know if you know her. She was, she was, um, she graduated with more than them. Oh. But um, she was um, adopted by the lighter so she could go to school. Oh, okay. Yeah. I probably don't remember her then. Okay, I'm going to call Joyce to see if she got this. Joyce, 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 Joyce. Oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> you hear the phone? Yeah, I got it. There's some out there. I'm going to get it. It's on the bed. I got it on the bed. All right. Just checking to see if you got it. Oh, I hear man coming up. <laughs> Go get it. You're going to lock it down if you feel like. <clears throat> no, while I'm thinking about it, um, <clears throat> we're getting like not really close to the end of this book, but um, as we get closer, if anybody has any suggestions, you know, <laughs> um, for our next book. <laughs> Keep your ear out. Because I know our Sister Jewel has the formidable men as well, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure if we want to go, you know, no. into that one. But I wanted to just, you know, mm -hmm. just offer an opportunity in case somebody has any suggestions, you know, because whatever it is, I'm all the books that we've done have been good. So. I just recently bought the formidable, the formidable man. Yeah, mm -hmm. I haven't had a chance to really look at it. Um, right, but um, when you said that, that was the first thing that came to my mind. Yeah, yeah, and that one is a little bit um, thicker too. You know, it has a, I think a few more uh, people in that, a few more number of men. because oh. this one has thirty three women. And I think the other one has maybe 42. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Do we have any praise reports, any prayer requests or anything before we get rolling? Because we don't have to um, let, you know, to yeah. be here any, you know, waste no time or anything. I was giving everybody a chance, but. <laughs> I think Joyce will be on as soon as she gets her copy. Okay. I, I just sent it to her, so I'm going to go pick up ours. <clears throat> okay. Um, I know, you know, we went to see um, Alfredo. Yes. Last Saturday, and mm -hmm. he immediately recognized us. I was just shocked when I saw him. Mm -hmm. I saw him the first time. Yeah, he was sitting up there, getting ready to eat something, some little snack he had. Mm -hmm. he looked up and he said, "My cousin's Joyce." And my <laughs> <laughs> All right. He talked. He talked. But Alfred has always been a talker, mm -hmm. and he talked nonstop, <laughs> nonstop. Amen. <laughs> so 
And yeah. It was just a joy, you know, to mm -hmm. see. And, then and you all know I'm just smiling. Yes, <laughs> you are. You you are. I, I haven't heard anything else, though. And I'm trying <laughs> to not call because... Well, he's on the walker now. Okay. I um, did hear that. Yeah, and I told me, texted me that yesterday. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're the, the trying to be having him on the walker, but he still have a long way to go, you know. So. Right. Just continue to keep him in prayer. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Ron is coming home tomorrow. Amen. So that's our praise report also. He's coming <clears> home. <throat> home therapy is, is, has already called and they're setting things up for, for when yeah. he comes home. All right. Amen. And I got a good praise report just before I came online. Max called. Mm hmm and talk to, to, to the two grandmothers and to let us know that he won second place in the NAACP um, Axel contest mm. for his poster. Mm -hmm. And uh, his, the, the, the theme he used was, it's our turn now. Mm. And he was he was featuring uh, Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, and John Lewis. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he featured them with their <clears throat> prison numbers on them and their some of their quotes. Yeah, his idea was that these people have worked as as far as they could go, but it's our turn to step up now and do it. You know. Wow. And wow. he won three hundred and fifty dollars in the second place. Wow. Yeah. It's right right. end of ACP's um contest. So yeah. we're very proud. I heard that. Amen. Go ahead, Max. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. I'm looking at the picture right now. Oh, you see mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Rosa Parks looks like um <laughs> like <what's, laughs> no, she looks like the lady that refused to get up <clears throat> the bus. Uh-huh. Rosa Parks. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when, I was thinking, when you said Rosa Parks, I was thinking Shirley Chisholm. Oh. I, because Mark just told me about the movie. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, I couldn't see it, but Claude described it to me. Yeah. And it was just, mm -hmm. a, I just got so teary. She was mm -hmm. describing it to me, and I thought, oh my well, God. Well, he's just following in my footsteps because when I was in Elementary school, I won five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Later in the foundation contest, I wrote a story. My dad was so proud of that five dollar award. Yes. He took it to work and made a copy of that check. <laughs> I was telling everybody about my five dollar award. <laughs> my the team, the principal, Mr. Kinemuth, came to the classroom and called me. He was a big guy, you know. Yeah. Voice Jordan, come ah. here. I have some good news for you. And he told that to me in front of the whole class. Oh boy, <laughs> the winners. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You were a star for a day. A star That's right, a star for a day. <laughs> I think my father must have taken that thing to work and showed everybody. <laughs> and in those days, $5 was a lot. That's, That's right. right. That's right. right. Okay, hello, everybody. Did you get <laughs> Just got it. Good. Sister Joyce, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. good. So, Sister Thanks. Joyce, if you could just remember to forward it to me. I would. Week, yeah, that would really be good. Because okay. I just have had wasted like 10 minutes trying to get it up on AOL. I didn't realize that you have to be in Google and Gmail. Yeah. Because uh, that's where it went to. Okay. <laughs> Okay. But even if it was in it, brother Larry, it says I need access. Hmm. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I, I, I think know. it means Joyce. It probably means you need to update from uh, AOL. Well, uh, is that what it means? No, oh. no. <laughs> no, I used to get that too, Marva. Really? Yeah. 
Okay. I used to get that. I have access to me Google. She said she doesn't have Google. Mm -hmm. And see, most I have of email. But huh? she has email. I have email. Oh, you I have Gmail. Okay. Yeah, I have okay. AOL and Gmail. I, I didn't see. get it in either one. And when I went in through my Gmail, it accepted my user word and password. And then when I thought I was going to get it, it said, you need access. Wow. That, it did that to me a few times, Joyce. A few did times. it? And now, okay. it just as soon as I get it, it opens up on my um, in my Google Doc. Okay. Well, that's good. Maybe <laughs> if I keep doing it. And that's where I went, sent it to you. Okay. Oh, there, yes. Thank you. Okay. All right. I couldn't I couldn't find it. No. And I had to um I said it must have gone to Gmail. So I looked on my phone <laughs> and I pulled up Gmail and it was there. Oh so I sent it to my email, I mean to my AOL. Oh. <laughs> and that's how I could print it. <clears throat> okay. So I got options. Okay. <laughs> So, Sister Joyce, real quick, is it uh, Song of Joy at AOL? Yes. But if it's help, more helpful, change it to Gmail. It's Song of Joy at Gmail? Sign of Joy. Sign. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad reading. <laughs> but yes, the Sign of Joy. Sign of Joy. Yeah, yes. at either okay. AOL or Gmail, but it won't come up for me in AOL. So maybe... Okay, so I'll change it to, uh, to Gmail. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yes, that would be great. So, Joyce, okay. reminded, uh, not, not reminding, but Tina called. Today's her birthday. So, she didn't call, she texted me. So, Tommy is taking her out to dinner. Okay. And then I wished her happy birthday on Facebook. Right. Mm -hmm. And I remember that um, Elton said last week that he was taking his wife his out. His wife out. Yes. Yes. <laughs> So she and Elton's wife must have the same birthday. Yes, yeah. they mentioned that last week too. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, wait. We gonna miss both of them. Oh yeah. yeah. So I guess this is us, huh? Yeah, yeah. I think this is it. We we good to go, you guys. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just read it from well, here. we're going ahead and get it rolling. Um, we already got the recording going. Uh, we'll just open up with prayer. Um, and today I was going to ask if Aunt Marvin <laughs> could open us up with prayer, and then we'll get into the lesson. Amen. Okay. Each Thank you. Father of all mercy and all grace, we just thank you, Lord, that you have allowed us all to be here with you on this evening. We thank you, Lord, for how you watch over this group each and every week and for how you've brought us together all over these years through a COVID time until now, and we're still going strong. Yes. We bless your holy and your righteous name. Father God, if there's anything that we have done that has grieved you, we just ask you to forgive us our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. And now as we come to our study tonight, Lord, we ask a special anointing over the presenter, uh, Minister Larry. We ask you to touch him, Father God, and let the words that he speak be all of his words, Father God. We ask you, Lord, to touch each of our hearts that we might get gain a uh, greater understanding of what this, the, the lesson is about, Lord. And Father, at the end, Father God, we promise that you're the one who will receive all of the honor, all of the glory, and the very, very highest of praise. We thank you, Lord, for watching over our children and our grandchildren and all of our family members. We thank you for the good reports that we've heard, for the answered prayers or for, for Alfredo and for more. <coughs> I'm sorry, for Alfredo and for Ron. And we know that you will continue to keep us as long as you're our father. Yes. And we thank you, Lord. So as we go forward, Lord, let us all leave here this night with something that we have taken away from your word that will help us to be edified and to grow beyond belief. We thank you, Lord, for all you are, 
all you have been and all you will be in our lives. And all that we ask, we ask it in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you for that powerful prayer. And thank you all for being here today. We are going to be covering it in the New Testament now. We moved on to the New Testament and we yeah. had Mary last week and now we're moving on to Anna. Anna. And as we were yeah. discussing earlier, um, Anna sounds a lot like Hannah and in, uh, in, in, in um, one of our previous uh, studies, we, we covered Hannah. But this one is Anna, the prophetess that was found in the New Testament. And <clears throat> she only has three verses that cover, that she's uh, mentioned. But yeah. she was thought up enough to be in the book and she's considered to be a prophetess. Matter of fact, I think she is the only, well, let, let me not mistake, she may be one of two prophetess in the New Te Testament, but we're gonna read about her and, and we'll cover that in the next few minutes. <clears throat> so as I mentioned, Anna, uh, our next formidable woman is a prophetess. And although there are only three verses which mention this powerhouse of a woman, uh, like the mother of, of Jesus, Mary, she found favor with God. And in the book of Luke, it describes Anna as being very old. Many Bibles uh, and older commentaries inter in her, interpret the New Testament text to state that she was 84 years old. And her age is, you know, it's, not that important, but the, the fact of the matter is that she had lived a long life and uh, that's a blessing all in of itself. The Greek st text states generally translated as she was a widow of 84 years. So we don't know if that she's 84 years old or if she was just a widow of 84 years. The passage is ambiguous. It can mean that she was 84 years old or that she has been a widow of 84 years, but some scholars consider the latter to be more likely the option. On this option, uh, she could have been married, she could not have been married younger than the, about the age of 14. So she would have been at least 14 plus <laughs> seven years that she was married because she was uh, became a widow after seven years and then 84. So if the latter is true, she would be 105 years old. Mm -hmm. So Minister Johnson, how do you know that Anna was favored by God? I'm glad you guys asked. So let's let dig deeper into the person and the character of Anna. The story of Anna, the prophetess, takes place during the early days of Jesus' life. <clears throat> According to the law of Moses, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And in Luke 20, uh, 2 and 23, that's where we uh, learn about this practice. In the light of this law, Mary and Joseph took an 88, an eight day old Jesus to the temple to offer sacrifice. Um, two turtle doves for the circumcision and, and Mary's purification. So that's that was their practice. They would take an eight year old to the temple to be sacrificed and they would have two turtle doves, um, one to represent the, the eight year old and one uh, uh, for Mary's purification. So the, the circumcision for the eight-year-old boy and for Mary's purification. When Brother Mary Lance, and Joseph, yes. I'm sorry, was it eight years or eight days? I'm sorry, eight days. Yeah. My oh, apologies, okay. eight days old. I thought so. He, he, he would have been too big for that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Eight days old. Thank you for co that correction. Yeah, that's Jesus. what you have on the paper also. Yeah, man. eight days old. Eight yeah. day old, Jesus. Um, okay. When he would uh, go for a circumcision. And that was, you know, um, Hebrew practice uh, that they be uh, circumcised within eight days. So when Mary and Joseph entered the temple, they were greeted by two people. Simeon and our featured uh, character today, Anna. The two humans who interacted with Mary and Joseph and Jesus are described as being led by the Holy Spirit into the temple. 
So, you know, God causes and allows all things to happen and <clears> there's <throat> no third category. So this was not an accident that they were the ones who met baby Jesus, Joseph and Mary. First, yes. That's right. <clears throat> Simeon scooped Jesus out of the arms of his parents into his own and gave a prophecy. <laughs> Simeon declared many things, including the falling of falling and rising of many in Israel. It is after Simeon's prophesying that Anna takes the stage. And Anna, she was known as a prophet. She is the woman who, as I imagine it, walks into the temple and just simply glows because they've talked about her uh, being so faithful and that she never left the temple. Right. In her place, I can picture so many mm -hmm. of the saintly women in my life and those who have devoted themselves to the work of the church. And uh, when I wrote that, I thought about, you know, um, these formidable and eloquent ladies on this <laughs> Bible call right now. And uh, just think of, I think about how everybody has their own uh, niche, that everybody has their own style and their own character. And um, I think about some ungodly women, how they behave, how they look and how they operate. And I can imagine uh, Anna being a very elegant lady and somebody who carried herself in, in, a, in a godly manner. Imagine her gracing the temple with her presence and being an expansive presence all around her. We only have three short verses to see who this woman is, but the biblical text gives us some clues about who we would have encountered if we met Anna at this space, at this temple space. She is described as being a woman who fasted often. So we can imagine that she probably had a nice physique. She was probably thin and, and not all, to me, I, Thin isn't the only only a, a mark of beauty because I prefer a, a woman with some curves. But you know that <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine if she was uh, fast, she fasted often that she was thin. Yeah, being of great age gave her social standing in her community as an elder. Mm -hmm. And it, as I mentioned before, it is just becoming an elder is a blessing. And sometimes uh, I, I hear. Um, youth at juvenile hall call somebody old. And I heard a, old, a couple of older people say, you just keep on living because uh, you will get there. And if you don't, then you're not as blessed as does us who have. And it is a true blessing that someone can grow old. And um, I, I, I'm a, the older I get, the more I believe in that. <laughs> yeah. Because not everybody has made it. Additionally, her ability to, to move about the temple, to come and go, gives us the indication that she was physically able to move around. Again, somebody yeah. at her age is still functioning at a high level. She's able to move around and get around and, and be an active participant at the temple. Her designation as a prophet indicates her spiritual acuity and the fact that her spiritual community values her giftings and recognizes her authority. So that means that she was somebody, yes. you know, like Jesse Jackson said, you know, tell yourself, I am somebody. And yes. one of the things that we could do is, is to be a part of a community is to acknowledge that we are a part of the community, that I am somebody in this community. Mm -hmm. And according to her positioning, she was, you know, considered somebody who had authority because she was there all the time and she had uh, the role, she played the role and was acknowledged as a prophetess um, as we had learned. She is described as being the daughter of Phanuel and, of the, and Phanuel was, was of the tribe of Asher. Luke names her father and tribe, making her one of the few New Testament characters with tribal listings. So that means that she came somewhere from down in the lineage of Jesus. I'm not sure what her relationship or was, if she was a, uh, a distant cousin, a distant relative or whatever, but she came from the same, a similar lineage as Jesus. Yes. Others who hold tribal listings include Jesus of the house of the lineage of David and the tribe of Judah, 
And if we've looked in Luke 2 and 4, Matthew 1, verses 1 through 6, uh, Saul of the Bible and uh, of, of tribe of Benjamin in Philippians 3, and Barnabas, a Levite, in Acts 4. And I got that information from my study Bible. And it's, um, I forget the name of that study Bible. I think it's called Scott's Study Bible. But that's where I got that information from. When I looked up Anna, they said that, you know, um, that this was part of her lineage right there. Anna is the only named female prophet in the New Testament. So I thought she was one of two, but she is the only named uh, prophet in the New Testament. Combined with her advanced standing in her community and dedication to prayer in the temple, this suggests that Anna was a woman of remarkable faith. So on the first day that Jesus was brought to the temple, Anna was blessed to see the infant and the Messiah, Jesus. God chose her because she had found favor in his sight. She was one who had been reported as never leaving the temple, worshiping, praying, and fasted day and night. On that day, Simeon, a devout man, was led by God to come to the temple. He blessed the parents and praised God as he held the child in his arms. And then that, of course, we know, we read earlier that that's when Anna came in. And just as God saw that Simeon be blessed to hold the baby Jesus, he caused Anna to also come on the scene. And as I mentioned, God causes and allow all things to happen, and there's no third category. And he caused and allowed Anna to bear witness to the introduction of Jesus to the, the temple. So I mentioned those three verses that um, I said that she was uh, mentioned in three verses. So I figured I should throw that in there somewhere where it <coughs> says exactly uh where it talks exactly about Anna's, and that's found in Luke 2, verses 36 through 38. It says, tell us why Anna, and it tells us why Anna was possibly favored. It said, there was a prophet Anna, the daughter of Penuel and of the tribe of uh, Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband several years after her marriage, and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple but worship night and day, fasting and praying. Coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. <clears throat> so this scripture informs us that Anna was a formidable woman of God who lived in absolute devotion to God. Scholars <laughs> interpret the scripture saying that she was 84 years old or that, you know, the, the other, some other scholars say that she was widowed for 40, uh, 84 years. Either way, Anna completely devoted herself to the Lord's service in the temple after her husband's death. And Anna could serve as an example to other women and men. I should have put that too, to other women and men, because being faithful to God leads to obtaining grace from the Lord. Anna came into Hebrew Anna's name in Hebrew is Hannah, which uh -huh. means grace or gracious. When she met baby Jesus, it was grace, grazing upon true grace. And I got that directly from the, uh, our reading uh, in, in, in our book. Anna gave thanks and praise to God and went about proclaiming to all who are looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem that the Messiah had come and she had seen him face to face. Like Simeon, Anna was of unusual commitment and had been blessed being a prophetess with special spiritual insight. And um, in conclusion, Anna's response to seeing Jesus, and I found this also in my Scott's study Bible. It says, Anna's response to seeing Jesus is priceless. At that very moment, she came up and began to thank God and to speak about him to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. And Anna came up and she thanked God. And lastly, this was a prayer that um, in this study Bible that they, they said she said, and it's not in the, in the scripture, but this was in the study Bible. So I don't know how accurate <clears throat> it is. I don't know if that's commentary, but that's what they said. They said, then Hannah prayed and said, my heart rejoices in the Lord, and the Lord, my horn is lifted high. My mouth boasts over my enemies, 
for I delight in your deliverance. There was no one holy like the Lord. There was no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. <clears throat> so that's the um, information that I gathered uh, while um, looking up Anna and just, just studying about her. And uh, I can truly say this is the first that I had ever first experience and first encounter I had with Anna. Although I have read uh, <laughs> Luke chapter two before, I must have skimmed right on over it. <laughs> but but as I learned uh, during the study that she was a formidable woman and, and the only prophetess in the uh, New Testament, worthy enough to be met, mentioned in scripture. So that's our presentation on Anna right there. Thank you, Larry. That was really good. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Yes, thank you. For, for yeah. just three verses, mm -hmm. you know, um, you, could just, you gave <laughs> you gave so much information on her, and you're right. For many years, I read um, that scripture, and it was so focused on Simeon mm -hmm. that I didn't pay that much attention to Anna. Until we were studying her, and um, you know, with the with um, my circle, mm -hmm. I first read about Hannah. Yeah, and um, I wish that I'd read this earlier because I could have shared with my god my god sister because she and I both are eighty four years old. She's a month older than I am. Mm -hmm. I was here mm -hmm. this morning and. You know, one of the things she said is they said it's it's uh, fun getting old, but it's no yeah. fun at all. She was so down on, mm. you know, because we're getting older and we have different ailments and things like mm -hmm. that, you know. And <laughs> um, I told her, I said, yes, but we're still, we're blessed because we have made it so far. Yes. That's a, that's a lot of years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. You know, that's a lot of years. And whether Adam was 84 or 105, once she reached 84, that's a long life. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. yeah. So when you look back at all the things that you have experienced, some of them you don't even remember. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you've experienced so many things, you know. Mm hmm even speaking about the five dollar prize that I, won, <laughs> you know, that, yes. that was a big, big deal. Yes, uh, I know. I laugh at that, but um, there's so many things that um, we experience, and for her to have dedicated her life, yes, and her husband, she dedicated her life to her to her calling which was to be yeah. a prophetess and her her desire she was her lifelong desire was to see the savior mm. and which the Lord, she did the Lord made that possible <clears throat> yes to see her savior and after yeah that's a blessing she felt, I'm fine now you know mm -hmm. you know as a Larry, I agree with everything Joy said. Uh, thank you so much for the way you dug deeper. Mm -hmm. And you were, you know, obediently pulled up more information on her. Mm -hmm. uh, the I was totally off base earlier because I was reading, of course, I was reading about Hannah, the mm -hmm. other Hannah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Got into this, but as we were reading it, and as you were reading it tonight and over and over, I heard about the um, the manner in which this Anna mm -hmm. stayed physically stayed in the temple. Yes, committing mm -hmm. to the Lord that it, for her entire life. Okay. Yes. One would say that she didn't have a lot of other experiences, mm -hmm. but she had the richest experience. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's the thing about Mary and Martha. And how the Lord reminded Martha that Mary was getting the best part. Yes. Dedicating her time to sitting at his feet and learning about him rather than yeah. being, you know, uh, uh, involved in the hustling <clears throat> of getting a, 
Oh, now, Venable. So I thought about Anna. She hadn't done all of that. And then my mind went to uh, the scripture in Corinthians. I think it's Second Corinthians. <clears throat> that speaks about these earthen vessels that we that we yeah. we live yeah. in, and that as these bodies begin to decay, our inner spirit begins to get brighter and brighter. Mm -hmm. mm. And I'm paraphrasing now. So yeah. I'm, thinking, you know, uh, as Anna is getting older, the thing you don't hear mentioned is anything about an ailment. Yeah. Right. You don't you hear nothing about her having any any challenges physically or or any health challenges and so on. You just kind of, it just kind of fades away. You know, you don't hear about that. So I think there's a lot to say about the time you spend with the Lord. Yes. The intentional time you, you you demonstrate your faith to him. And the youth that it keeps in you, within you. You know, and I think yeah. about the 104-year-old woman that passed away at my church a few years ago and how at 90, it was 90-something, mother, she had her first car accident. And I went over and said, are you all right? I, I didn't see the accident, but at church I said, I heard you had an accident, are you okay? Oh, yeah, it was just a little fender bender. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and how she walked. Yeah. And taught, I went to, we went to take her a, bu a bouquet of flowers on her, one of her, one of her hundred milestone birthdays, I forget which one, from the women's ministry. Mm -hmm. She, she had us waiting a long time. And when she came out, she came out with a cane. She had on a beautifully red sweater and a skirt. And she mm -hmm. just was strutting. I said, well, look at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, there's a lot to say about the closeness you have with the Lord and the youthfulness. Yes. That scripture yes. talks about a spiritual youthfulness that you know that's that glow within you. Mm -hmm. But I think it goes both ways. I think it show it also shows on the outside of that those people who are that close to the Lord. I really do. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's all I have to share. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, what what word what what other worthy what's more worthy than spending time with god nothing else that's the best that's the best space to be in like of all you know and <laughs> especially if you have a connection like you know yeah. with god you know being on the same frequency and, and being mm -hmm. you know uh in, in commune with god that that's the safest place to be you know mm -hmm. um, so yeah that i agree with you auntie yeah yeah. You know, another thing that I thought was um pretty important uh about her about this story actually is that um even though Simeon, like your mom mentioned, Simeon was the, the person when I read before that I focused on, but Simeon, he wasn't like when I was doing all the rest of the study, like he he's not mentioned it to be or have the same amount of importance in in terms of like her being the only female prophet. It's like Simeon is one of many. Like, you know, he was just mm -hmm. one, you know, just I ain't gonna just say just another person, but he was special in himself. But her memory, the memory of her was High, she was highly regarded, like in in, in in time after she was gone by her people. So that means that she made an impression on the people, and she was remembered um, with high regard. <laughs> and, and even though she only had three verses in scripture, but her, in in the studies that I was doing, like they, she she was considered to be like somebody who was like really really highly regarded, you know. Yeah. yeah. I found something in um in this book that I have that kind of summarizes. It says, "When we surrender our lives to God, He will reveal Himself by bringing mm. 
face to face with his son, Jesus, Lord of all, mm. he will deposit in our hearts great desires that he will delight in giving us. Mm. And this is, um, to, you know, speaking about her. Mm. Yeah. Um, but even in this book, there's only like a, three pages that, you know, talk about that. <laughs> But she was a very, very important woman. Yeah. I just want to say that speaking of, of uh, being close to God and staying close to God, uh, it crossed my mind when uh, Moses went up on the mountaintop and he actually spent time with God. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was so powerful Wow. That he, he came back with a glow. Yes. And, yes. and his hair had turned white. Mm -hmm. And and the people could not even stand to look uh, at Moses directly. No. So yeah. if we spend just a little time with God's presence and, and, and in his service, that I can imagine that that does add something to our charisma. You've mm -hmm. heard people say that uh, in the holiness church that the women just glow. Well, I think mm -hmm. that women, period, you don't have to necessarily be in the church of God in Christ to glow. Mm -hmm. If you are working for God and you're dedicated, that we all glow. <laughs> we, yeah. we, I believe that God keeps us a youthful, as Sister Marva said, in our inner spirit, and it comes through our countenance. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I can imagine, Sister Anna, I did the numbers. <clears throat> Say she was married at 13 and her, and she was widowed after seven years of marriage. She would have been like 20. And yeah. if she dedicated herself to the temple for 84 years, Around this time, it was 104 years. So you're right, Brother Larry. She, I believe she was in our hundreds mm -hmm. and was still serving in that temple. Yeah. And and she was able to, God, I believe God kept her for the very purpose of yeah. seeing the Messiah because she went out and started telling people, the yeah. Messiah is indeed come. Jesus is the Messiah because a lot of people did not believe that, mm -hmm. that right. he was the Messiah. So she served her purpose in life. Mm -hmm. And how many of us just don't know what our purpose is? She knew what her purpose was. Yes. Yeah. And I believe Simeon too, because the Holy Spirit led both of them into that temple that day. Mm -hmm. Right. That was divine. That was God leading both of them. And I don't marvel at anything anymore that God does. I mean, no. I marvel, but it's, I just expect that's God. Yeah. 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 That's God. yeah. I missed uh, the, uh, the reports on, uh, you know, what everybody's, uh, prayer requests were last week. We'll talk about that at the end, I hope, because I I, I just believe that God is working miracles. Yes. He's, yeah. He's doing things. And I see it in my life. And Anna is just an example. I remember my mother was 89 years old when she passed. And I remember the women in the church and around the community used to say, Ruby's hair just don't never, you know how some people's hair thin out. Mm -hmm. She got a gray streak first, but she was still like 56 or close to 60 when she got that gray streak going across the front of her head. <clears throat> but her hair stayed mostly black and she never lost a lot of hair. And yeah. everybody used to talk about how Ruby's hair and skin looked so good mm -hmm. at 89. And I said, yeah, mom, she loved the Lord. <laughs> she, she, those women who love the Lord. <laughs> so, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm so happy that you brought Anna out. And it's three verses. 
-hmm. that was spoken of this woman. But in those three verses, you could tell she was a mighty woman yes. of God. Yes. Didn't take a whole, it didn't take a whole chapter to talk about her. No, I guess her role, how dedicated she was, and how God used her. Yes. To go out and tell the everybody that the Messiah had come. She oh, held him. Okay. She said, and I saw him face to face. <laughs> yeah. Everybody can't say that. That's right. right. Yeah. And she was she was one of the first to see him face to face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, was Simeon yeah. first? Simeon was first, wasn't he? Well, I said she was one of the first, like one you know, of the like, first, right? Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that, the, the, the wise men, they, the wise men also, also right. saw. Him. All right, they saw him right. as a as a baby still in the manger, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Thank you, brother Larry. Beautiful lesson. Amen. Amen. Thank, thank you. Go ahead, Dottie. I had an experience years, years ago with the mother of one of my friends. Mm -hmm. She was in the hospital and I went and visited her and I was talking to my friend and she was good, you know, and then I left and I went back. At that time, Mark had surgery. I went back to the room <laughs> and while I in Mark in the room with Mark, I hear this yelling and screaming and crying. And it was my friend and I run back to the room and her mother passed. And mm -hmm. she didn't see, but the glow. Mm -hmm. And if, if I was blessed, if God blessed me that moment, I can, I don't, I cannot imagine because that was, I couldn't explain to my friend and I keep on telling my friend, but look at her faith. Mm -hmm. I can't explain. Yes. It was yes. so beautiful. Wow. I think I, one time I told Marv or Joseph, I don't know if I mentioned this You story. told all of us that. Yeah. But he said, Glo, I, it take me back to that day. And yeah, I'm yeah. thinking, if this was just a, oh my God, if this was just, como se dice, como, como menos de un, min, de un segundo. As, just a split second. This was less than a second of oh, that God let me see his power. Oh my yeah. God, I am mm. there. Because I will never, ever forget. And my friend did not see it. Because wow. she, I said, Yvonne, look at your mom. And she couldn't see it. Wow. She couldn't yeah. see it. She couldn't yeah. see it, but this lady had this glow. It's like, it's like this light. I don't know. I, I can't explain it. It was yeah. only for you, Sister Toti. That's that was right. It was meant for you, Toti. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. For you that was meant for you to see. Yes. yes. Exactly. Look at look at where you 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 give witness to it over and over. That was yes. for you. Yes. Right. And to tell the rest of us about it. Yes. yes. You witnessed God <laughs> taking one of His servants home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Wow. Hmm. I always remember Larry, what you did was very good, very, very, very mm -hmm. complete. It mm -hmm. took three pages and made it into a, you know, a longer story which explained more about Anna. But I always remember the, the day I got the news that my mother died. I, had, I went to visit her that morning. Mm -hmm. And then she told me, I told her, um, as soon as I get out for work, I'll be back to visit you. But I didn't really have to go to work because it told me I could take the time off, you know. Mm -hmm. I went to the job and I was there like maybe two hours when I, the column told me that she died. Oh. So I got a ride to the hospital right away. And when I saw her, the way I looked at my mother, the way my mother's face looked, I saw like a peace, you know, oh. I saw peace mm -hmm. on her face. And yeah. they had her wrap, but they left her face out. Like you see pictures of Mary that they, that they show you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. That's yeah. the way she was. And she, she, she looked so calm, you know? Yeah. She looked so calm. And I, I, I always, and I think that's what calmed me that day. And I couldn't even cry because I just know that she was in good hands, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> 
I remember the day before she died, she was in the ICU. And one of my friends came to visit her, a girl by the name of, uh, well, Joyce, I know, Ellen, Ellen Chandler. Oh, so yeah. After the visit, we were working, working out of the hospital. And, I, and Ellen. Ellen told me, she said, Mark, you know, I came here thinking your mother would be down and looking all, you know, discouraged and everything, being in the hospital and lost, lost her leg. But your mother uplifted me mm -hmm. just to see how mm. she was. Mm. You know, so that is something that we always have to remember. And, you know, as long as somebody says you stay with God, mm -hmm. you stay yeah. with God. Those are the things that will you will inherit in your life, you know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like you said, Anna was a praying woman. Yes. Yeah. And she always prayed. She went, she always fasted. You know, like Larry mentioned about her being healthy. I also saw that in something I read that she was a very healthy person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because she was constantly praying to God. She was always fast fasting. And I remember my 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 wife brother. Yeah. He was a, a pastor in his church. And Lolo would be he'd be fasting all the time, you know. And oh, he, he always yeah. looked healthy. All the time. He always looked very healthy, you know. But mm -hmm. he, he was a, a, one of those people that fasted all the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. So mm -hmm. thank you, Larry. Amen. Amen. You know, <laughs> so I forget where it says that, like, when you fast, don't walk around and be grumpy and, and you know, and act like you all, you know, mm -hmm. put, put some oil on your face. And, you know, and, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, that's 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 the good instruction. And yeah, this, this story about Anna is a good example for us to keep a um a positive outlook, you know, <laughs> on life. And when we try to figure things out on our own, or if we're trying to do things on our own, a lot can go wrong. That's right. But with God, with God, you know, supernatural things can happen and it, the 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 goodness of life. It c comes out, you know. What I mean, when you're c connected to goodness, you know, it, it, it's, it's it's better than being connected to the things and things of this world and things in our head and mm -hmm. all the distract all those things. But because he said, "I'll bring you peace," right? You know, come to me, all you who are uh, heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. And you know, <laughs> that's that that's that's what I think we're describing right now in in those uh, times when we're talking about. When we we stay connected with God and how um, you we, there's it seems like we're at peace when when we're there you know um, even if it seems like everything is going wrong you know we we could be at peace as long as we know we staying connected with God yeah, absolutely absolutely yeah. stay prayerful you know and don't be don't lose heart don't be discouraged mm -hmm. if things don't come your way He knows this He know what He have for you mm -hmm. yeah. He knows. Just you know, keep praying and hold on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yes. that's one. That's one thing that you know, I can really just kind of try to stay encouraged by is, is trying to live without having <laughs> regrets. And when my father was going through his last days, you know, and when he finally did pass. I was sad, but I wasn't destroyed. You know, I wasn't completely right. just, you know, just all broken up because I know I didn't have any regrets. I spent quality time with him and I had 47 years of good memories that I could hold on to. And exactly. I wasn't focused on the bad. You know, I was more focused on what I did have, which was the positive uh, things to you know, like the time that I spent with him. And, you know, the times that he, you know, we did all kinds of things together. So I didn't have any regrets. Mm -hmm. But I can imagine if I had not have spent that time, if I had not have, you know, had those good memories, that mm -hmm. I would have had some regrets and I would have felt a different, completely different way. You know, right. so, right. Uh, yeah, and, and that's the way I feel kind of like, you know, about my life. I want to I've lived and I know that I've uh, been obedient and I'm um, doing the things that uh, are 
pleasing according to his word, then, yeah. you know, whatever it is, come as it may, you know, because I, we know what his promise is that, you know, he will be with him, you know. And Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Nobody wants to, wants to go or anything. Nobody wants anything bad to happen, but it won't be regretful, you know, and, and I can imagine somebody who does not have a relationship. That's why I pray for people who don't have a relationship with God. Like when something bad happens, you don't have anything to, to hold on to, anything to lean on. You try to lean to your own understanding. Woo, my God, you know, that's 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 not a good space to be in. But if we can lean on the understanding that he's with us, and, and no matter what we go through all the way to the end, then, you know, that's comforting. That's comforting. Yeah. The, yeah. the Lord gives us so many good memories. I um, I just want to share that when, when my mother died, when our mother died, um, it seemed to be fast. It was Christmas time. Mm. And the 22nd of December, I learned about my, my mom's passing um, after I had gotten I had gotten in my car to go from my school to the to the uh, district office, and I had prayed before I went with a teacher in my building regarding my mom. I told her about my mom's surgery and everything, and we prayed. When I got in the car, I turned on my car radio to uh, a religious station I always listen to. Christian station. And that's the first time in my life that I heard the scripture, be anxious for nothing. Mm. And mm. I took that scripture to mean mom's okay. The Lord is telling you your mom's okay. So I rushed back to Mrs. Johnson's room when I came back. I said, girl, my mom's just fine. I just heard this scripture and that was it. Got to my house, two of my friends from Panama were waiting at the door mm. and I was my mom that they were there because Ryan didn't know how to tell me. So he brought them to, to help him. And I remember breaking, just, just breaking. But after that cry, I went about preparing a bulletin for the service and all that with a friend of mine. And the 24th of December, we're in Panama going to church, uh, Rio Val church. And when I entered that church, there was a banner on the up up on the on the those old old-fashioned computer banners. Mm -hmm. The same yeah. scripture, be anxious for nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And I sat down and I closed my eyes and I saw the most beautiful picture of a scenery that was just nothing but God's beautiful green creation. Mm -hmm. Like rolling hills and so on. And I felt the Lord telling me, Your mom's okay, she's with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the, that scene brought me a lot of peace. Yes. And yes. Um, after that, we had to go to the mortuary because we, at that time, we we dressed our own. Mm -hmm. Joyce, Auntie Lucille, and I went to the mortuary to dress Mama. And I remember, I don't, I can't tell you today why I didn't cry. I didn't cry anymore. Well, you know why? I. <laughs> I know why, because of how the Lord had prepared me. I started getting, we started to get her dress. I, I did her hair with the curling irons and everything. Mm -hmm. We put on her clothes. I asked the, the, the people to bring her leg back because she had, she had amputated. Mm -hmm. Didn't have the leg with her. And I asked the guy, would you go get my mother's leg and bring it? And we placed it there. And I remember Joyce and Auntie were crying the whole time. Mm. And I could not, I did not cry. I felt such a peace within me. I was not crying. You were crying. No, I was not. Oh, I thought. <laughs> no. Because what happened with me is I cried a lot when I got the news. When I got the news, I you cried know, a I lot cried too. A lot. But then after that. But when I talked to Morris and he said how peaceful my mother looked. Mm -hmm. mm. And it was like she had a smile. Uh, a smile on her face, and mm. the lady that was there with her mm -hmm. as she passed said that she. Um, That's good to see. Yes, what she you said. Did the uh, Lord, I commit myself to you. Psalm. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. she says, "Your hand, I commit, I commit my, my spirit." spirit. Mm -hmm. 
And she said she had the most beautiful smile. <clears throat> I heard that. Mm -hmm. I got peace that came over me. Yes. And the following day, we were living in Texas. And Narisa and I went shopping because my um, cousin called and says, I want to pay for her dress, but I want you to pick it up. And we went shopping and I selected her dress and everything. And I told the, the clerk that I was getting, you know, dressed to bury my mother in. And she said, you lost your mother? I said, yes. He said, but you don't look sad. And I said, my mother is happy. Yeah, that's the way I was. <laughs> and then I, we got, I got to Miami, <clears throat> even Oak, um, San Francisco or Oakland, whatever, wherever I was, I was. No, no, I'm sorry. I was living in Texas. I get to Miami to change planes. Narisa goes to get something to eat from the machine and comes back and says, Mommy, look up. And I looked up and there was Marva. Oh. <laughs> sitting on the same, same side, place. Going to pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I see all that was God. That was all God. Yeah. Oh, God. And yeah. I remember that morning when we were waiting outside and I, and I, and I, I saw when, when they brought the body mm -hmm. in. And I felt a strange feeling at one point, you know. But I but think, no tears. No, I think that that um, knowing how peaceful she was mm -hmm. was what did it for me. Well, I don't know. I remembered you all were crying. This no, so thanks. Not, thanks for correcting that <laughs> because I was really getting her hair done and so <laughs> you know. But um, God just knows what He's doing. Yes, He does. Mm -hmm. I, just relax and let go and don't don't worry about anything. Right. Takes care of it. And you know, yesterday I was um every again I listened to watch TikTok and I just watch a lot of um people's testimonies and what have you. And if if it's something that I just don't want to see, like sometimes they start to curse, I just flip it up, you know, swipe it up and go to something else. But there was this young lady, she works at a hospital, she was wearing her um her hospital garb, and uh -huh. she said she just wanted to share this because her grandmother was in the hospital, and she never mentioned if her grandmother passed away if she lived. But she said my grandma was very ill in the hospital, and she said, you know, my aunt and my mother we were all there, and since I I was on you know I was <clears throat> a shift, I decided to take my break and go into the room to be with the family. And she says when they got when they were in the room, the grandmother her grandmother kept looking through the window, like across to the other room. Mm -hmm. I mean, looking across to the other room, and they said, "What are you looking at?" And she says, "I'm, I'm looking at Mary. Mm -hmm. oh, Don't wow. you see her? Don't you see her over there?" And they <clears throat> and they you know at first they said no, and then she said all of a sudden. The three of them saw like this bright light in that room. Mm. And they saw that presence that their grandmother was seeing. Wow. And after a while, the grandmother said, um, okay, she's <laughs> gone now. And when they looked, they, that glow was gone. Mm. And she, she went into that room because she said she saw a person in that room. Mm. But when went over into that room, that room was empty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One in the room. Mm -hmm. So that her grandmother yeah, was visited, mm -hmm. you know, this this presence. Yes. You know, and she said it made her feel so at peace because she knew that her mm -hmm. grandmother was, you know, resting well. Mm -hmm. That um she had that person to to be to be watching over her. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Aunt Lucille did something similar mm -hmm. when we were in the room with her. Jean, when Jean came to visit, Jean and Joyce. And Joyce, yeah, you, you can, <laughs> I always forget. You know, anyway, remember she was looking up at the closet door. Yeah, right. And yes. she was staring at it. I said, Auntie Chia, what are you looking at? And she said, I see the face of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that, that <laughs> we all, we, we all now, we all got sad that. Yes. Time. Because we knew that it meant that she was being called home. Yeah. You know, and uh, we, we did get sad. 
And she was so at peace, though. And she was. Still. She was at peace. And she wouldn't. Too. She didn't go until I, we landed in San Francisco, mm -hmm. and then we got the call that she she was gone. Yeah. That she almost wait, waited for Gina and I to leave. <clears throat> And she waited for Ron and I to go to bed. Yes. <laughs> no sooner we closed the door and turned off the light, the lady came and got us and said, I think it's time. Mm -hmm. And we came back just in time to hear her take her last breath. Mm -hmm. She didn't want us to be there when she passed away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the things that they normally do because I remember with uh, with my mom, mm -hmm. uh, I told her, I was going to work, but I didn't really have to go to work. I could stay with her. And she told me, no, no, you go ahead to work. Mm. I'm, I'll see you when you get up, but right now I'm in good hands. That, mm. that was the last word she told me, I'm in good hands. Wow. So I, I got out, I went to work and, you know, but when I think back on all those different things that she told me, um, I know for sure where she is and where she went, where she went and where she is. And you know yeah. who she's with. Mm -hmm. I'm wow. sure we could all talk about some of the yeah. beautiful ways in which our parents and grandparents <laughs> and everybody left here. Because I really do believe that they were all very close to God. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. they were examples for us. So they had to be closer, closer. you know. Yeah. Uh, I remember when my father... Uh, he had had a stroke and uh, he had sort of recovered from the stroke and had been admitted to go home. And then he had a slight heart attack and had to go back. And I think he was just uh, a little ready to go. And uh, everybody was coming in from out of town because most of us were living in other states. I was in California. And he said he wanted everybody to be around the bedside. And then uh, he excused all of us, except our mother. And, and uh, she said that when we all left, he told her, Ruby, take your fingers and rub them across my eyebrows. I always feel so good when you rub my eyebrows, you know, and then she said they talked for a while and he told her, okay, you can go now. You and the kids, y'all all have a good night. Mm -hmm. And when we all left the hospital that next morning, we got the call that he had went peacefully in his sleep during the mm -hmm. night. So mm -hmm. we were very assured that he was ready to go because he was one of those men that didn't like being bedridden. He didn't want to be around too much longer and he had peace with God and he said I just want to spend a couple of few minutes with my wife mm -hmm. she didn't tell us everything I'm sure I'm mm -hmm. sure she probably kissed him and the center for the home mm -hmm. yeah and then mm -hmm. he, he <laughs> said you tell all the kids to have a good night and you know you all go on home and he mm -hmm. was in a hospital down in Memphis and we lived out in the country. So we went back out to the country and everybody was, you know, daddy looked good tonight. Mother said, yeah, he's looking better tonight than he had been looking. <laughs> and I always, yeah, they always do a little recuperating yeah. before. But she mm -hmm. said, yeah, he told me to rub his eyebrows for him. And, and we talked and he's, you know, said, yeah, tell you guys, have a good night. So yeah, and then when my mother passed, she also kept saying, I'm just ready to go home. We thought she meant back out to the country to her home house. But in mm -hmm. essence, she was saying she was ready to go home. Yeah. She had been bedridden and she was tired. Yes. And she went peacefully in her sleep. And she, like you said, uh, Sister uh, Joyce, you, they have such a look of peace on their face. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's so agonizing, you know, when they when God comes and takes them, it's like He leaves their physical body mm -hmm. in a peaceful state, so that we will feel better. I believe He does that for our benefit. Uh, yes, I believe so I too. Agree. I believe yes, so. yes. So I yes. I remember when I met you, Joyce, you were leaving. 
Yes, to go to my mother's funeral. No, you were going to take care of your mom. I was going to take care of my mom. You're yeah. right, but I came back right before my mom passed. Oh, I, okay. I was living in Stockton. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. So when she passed, I literally was not there, but I had seen her like the month before she passed, and she was telling me, <clears throat> no, I'm just ready to go home. I said, well, Mom, dear, you know, you can't go back out to the country by yourself. And she was talking about the real, real home. The real home. Heavenly home, yes. Yes. <clears throat> so, yeah, we all have really good memories of their passing on over into, as they say down south, transitioning. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that is why, that is why um, our grief is not like others you know yes you yeah. like you just can't let go and you you're yeah. with god and all of these things we don't go through that because we know you know yeah you know we know yeah. and he gives us assurance that they're okay that they're gone with him i was actually able to get up and read Whitley phipps uh that poem that he did about when old death came riding. What is you remember that? Mm -hmm. I have that. And he came down and he saw Mother Ruby Payne and he said he saw she was mm -hmm. toiling and a suffering. And he said, send me death angel or whatever. I can't remember the poem anymore, but it was beautiful because it described how God sent the death angel to go and and bring her to a certain point, but then the other angel brought her and put her in his arms, and she's mm. now rocking in the arms of Jesus. Look up Whitley Phipps. Yeah. Uh, Joyce, is that from the creation? No, that's another one. That's a different one that he did. Oh, this okay, okay. Death, it's about when someone is transitioning, how God okay. sends, he said he's, he's, he saw them toiling and, and in pain and suffering, and he called forth for the angel to go and get them. Hmm, wow. Okay. Yeah, and it's, it's such a reassuring poem, the way Whitley Phillips did it. And I was able to do it. I didn't think I would be able to do it, but it was something that I had always done at other people's, you know, funerals. I had done recitations of some kind. Yeah. And, but God put it on my heart to do that one because I had heard Whitley Phipps do it. And I said, oh my goodness, I want to do that whenever I have someone in my family go. And my mother was the first one. I hadn't done it when my father passed, but it was so appropriate. I love it, huh? Yeah, it's really a beautiful, beautiful recitation. I would love wow. to hear it. I can imagine his voice. Yeah, I'm, I really, I don't know why I can't remember the title of it. You will. <laughs> so we'll get off this line and you'll remember it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love him. I love his baritone voice and everything. Well, Betty Gadlin brought him to uh, Alan Temple when she did that uh, black <laughs> one. Thing like the color of your skin or your complexion. And it, <laughs> look, look, you see, it's the color of your skin. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, who knows? I, I, um, See where Anna took us, Larry? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just thinking about all the time she spent with the Lord and how beautiful yeah. she looked at her at 104. And yeah, that's where it took us. Amen. You know, it's okay. You know, I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> Go down death. Go That's down death. Whitley I've Pips. heard that. I've heard that. 
Yes, go down there. See, I always thought it was part of the creation. That's why I said that. Creation is totally different. I mm -hmm. see it also. Okay, okay. Mm. Yes, I love it. Mm. I probably won't do it again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just blurted that out, Brother Larry. Were you getting ready to say something? No, I, not really. Uh, but um, I, I, I did. Uh, um, I eulogized my my dad, and I didn't know. I still don't know how I got the you know the the courage and the strength to be able to do yes. it. But yes, I do, because yeah, like I said, I, I didn't have any regrets. I, <clears throat> even right. though it was a sad occasion, I still had that attitude of gratitude that I had. Not him just, you know, being alive in my life, but he was actively involved. And I, we were, you know, like we were close. You know, he was the best man in both of my weddings. You know what I'm saying? And, yes. And, you know, I have good, I have close friends, you know, but but none of them closer than me and Pops, you know, and, and yes. that, that was all right with me. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I try to do is hold on to the good, good, good memories and the mm -hmm. things that were good about it. And I guess that's the thing that helped me uh, be able to do that. Cause yes, yeah. that does help you get through. <laughs> and your mother was sitting there looking at you and being very proud that you were able to do it. Probably it's another reason it helped you get through it. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> With God, all things are possible. And that, that seemed yeah. like it would be an impossible thing for me to do, like just thinking about it. And on <clears throat> my own, I probably I couldn't do it. <laughs> That's right. Just, just, just on my own strength, on my own accord, I couldn't do it. But. Yeah. Yeah. You know, long before I had heard of Whitby Phipps, I had actually done the creation and the crucifixion by being her <laughs> uh -huh. the creation I, I, yeah i loved doing those uh -huh. kinds of things ben in Bush. high school no, i did when i was in, in uh -huh. when you were in where joyce when i was in high school not high school but junior high school <laughs> yeah that's when i did most of mine but then i i did uh the crucifixion by being her Oh. for a part of that was like the first part of the contest where I won my my college uh scholarship oh, no. I did two things we had two rounds to do so I did the the uh the creation first by James Weldon Johnson and then for the second round I made it through to the to the finals I did <laughs> Uh, the the crucifixion by being her, that was real. That was a real one because every Easter I think of it. <laughs> Up the hills of Golgotha. And I'm always still a little bit. Me who? Being her. Being her. YouTube. Yes, that's where you find everything on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, I just love how he's doing this work with me. He is doing so good. I, I just, think <laughs> down there. Hey. He does. He did. He's done that a few times actually. Yeah, those were some powerful speeches back in the mm -hmm. day. You don't hear people doing them too much anymore. No, uh-uh. Now they do the spoken word. Yeah. I always liked memorizing it. The longer it was, the more I wanted to try it. Right? Me too. Me too, Joyce. <laughs> and like, and once, you, once you got it in your, in your spirit, yes. because I actually could get it into my spirit when I was doing the creation, just imagining God doing the work. And then, and God smiled and said, 
it is good. Uh, that is good. Yes. I, I I can't remember any of those things anymore, but I could read them really good. <laughs> but as far as being able to recite them by heart anymore, I can't. But I love doing those long oratorical fast. Oh, Mort, that was me and Melissa. Melissa, remember Mort? Mort? He's, mm. he's, he's muted. Mm. Yeah, I remember Joyce at the church when you did that. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? You know why he remembers? Because one time we were up, it was her turn to speak at a church, recite, and Mort and another friend of his were in the back of the church. And what they were doing, they took their handkerchiefs out of their pockets and they were making them into bras. And they stood there in the back of the church to show that. And she, she's watching them and she forgot her line. They distracted her. They distracted her. <laughs> and her, she stood there and she could not remember her line at all. And finally, her grandmother got up and said, come down. She was so embarrassed. And that was Mark and his friend. <laughs> <laughs> so they spank him. <laughs> he had uh, Winston yeah. Ford. <laughs> Never forget that. She was so hurt. <laughs> that is just who I thought it was. Winston Ford. Yes, and she finding <laughs> herself in you know knowing her, her um part and got up there and forgot it after Mark did that. Well, they didn't teach you guys to look right above everybody's head and don't look at anyone because they told us not to pay attention, you know, right. but <laughs> for some reason that day they got to her. <laughs> they got to her, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, but Larry, thank you so much. That was, you know, that led to such a very, very good discussion. Sure did. Amen. Yeah. 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 The presence of the Lord is here. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. We're not, we're not going to linger on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was a good moment to to to, to remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Anna is an encouragement that you know he is God can God can work with us and still bless us it, it, no matter how old we are you know that's right yeah. and the more we work for him the older we might be able to make it that's the yep. whole point to me you yep. dedicate your life to Christ God is gonna keep us He's gonna keep us because we're doing His service yeah yeah. It's Brother Larry, I still, I don't do it as often as I was before, but I'm still blessing my body. Amen. I bless my body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gave yeah. me that one. And I, yes. and I told a lot of people. I was emailing it to people here. Don't mm -hmm. you accept this and that. You bless yes. your body. Bless your yeah. body. Yeah. You speak life over your body. Not mm -hmm. Don't be always talking about what's <clears throat> on with your body. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And you know, I, I, I did it more often before because I say, you know what, I'm building up equity. Yeah. Because <laughs> when there's nothing wrong, I'm saying it, you know. So that yeah. if something does go wrong, then I don't build up some equity. <laughs> exactly. That's right. You don't wait till you get down to, to exactly. make those affirmations. You do them when yeah. you got good fitness <clears throat> in your body. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just gotta. You guys, I have a prayer request. I want you all to really pray for me that my voice will will get back. I don't know why, but the enemy is really robbing me of my voice. I, I can hardly talk sometimes. It's it's so rough, you know. And I want to sing so bad. I've always loved to sing, and That's and it's, it, yeah, it is beautiful and, voice. And and I tried singing with the choir, but it's, it's the type of songs that they sing that makes it extra hard for me oh. because, yeah, they're doing the old hymns from the Baptist Standard Hymnal, the mm -hmm. white way, not even the black way. So, 
Now, uh, were you um, what what um, are you still singing tenor? I I'm, I'm still singing tenor, and I was singing first tenor when I left Allen Temple. Yeah. But now first tenor is even hard for me. It's oh. like I get so tired, and it's like my vocal cords just yeah. seem to have rust all around them. Oh wow! And they said when I had that sinus surgery that they were going to clean around my vocal cords. And it, it 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 appeared to have been okay for like two or three weeks, and then it just started, started going back. back to, yes, wow. yeah. Joyce, try try drinking this tea that Mardos drink. It name um throat tea. Throat coat. Spell it. Throat coat. Uh huh. Coat it, tea. Throat. Throat. Oh, throat. Throat tea. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. With echinacea and honey. <clears throat> okay. You know, try drinking that tea. It sometimes when you gotta sing with the choir, you yeah. drinking it a couple of days and you know, send it to Panama to his brother because okay. his brother sings too and it helps him. Okay. Oh. Well, my Probably. son told me to get something with licorice and something in it that was supposed to be good for the throat, but this is throat tea. With yes. echinacea and honey. Oh, is it? And honey. Yes. And throat coat. The coat. That's what I told you. Yeah, oh. throat coat. Uh -huh. Throat coat. Okay. Yes. And 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 what is the brand name? Can you tell me? Or tell me where you get it. Uh, in the head store, right? The supermarket. Oh, supermarket. The supermarket too. Okay. Yeah. The okay. supermarket where they sell the teas. The same, the same one they sell smooth move and smooth, different smooth moves. Okay. The food stores carry the whole line. Food right. stores. Okay. And, and maybe I can food. find it on Amazon if I can't find it at the store, yeah. right? Oh, for sure. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amazon has everything. Everything. I'm going to get that. I'm going to look for some of that tomorrow. I yeah. definitely can. Yes. Yes, I know. Um, one time I had a a terrible, terrible cough, and it would just I would be <clears throat> at night late, and my neighbor heard the coughing. One day, and and she came by my house and just rang the doorbell, and she says, "I hope you don't think that I am being presumptuous," but she says, "You've been coughing a lot at night," and mm. she see that. That thing really helped me. All right, all right. It really, really helped me. I'll take a, I'll take you guys' advice on that. I sure will. Yes. Oh, Joyce, and Marva says the brand is Traditional Medicinals. Okay. Right, right. That's okay. it. Okay. Very good. Traditional medicinal. Med medicinal. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Mort, for even okay. mentioning. Okay. We're having a Holy Week all this week at our church, and uh, we had our musical, uh, Easter musical concert this past Sunday. And I had uh, done about half of the rehearsals before my voice was just given completely out on me. So I had to, you know, not sing, but they were up there singing and I was like, Lord, please let me sing again. I want to be up there so bad singing. <laughs> I'm not accustomed to sitting out in the congregation when there's some singing going on, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I believe that this is going to probably be the answer to my prayer. Thank you, guys. <laughs> now tell me about the the praise reports. I, I I'm sorry I came in late, but I was trying to get the doctor. <laughs> I heard Sister Marva say Brother Run is doing much better. Yes, he's coming home tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And yes. Sister Myrna, your brother is doing better. She's, She's on. Gone. Yes, he <laughs> is. Okay. Thank God. Is he home also? No, no. Joyce and Margo went to see him. 
saw him on Saturday, Joyce, and he's in a hospital now close to where he we live we all live. Yes. But right around the corner from where Ron is right now. Praise God. Um, Look at God. Look at God. Oh, that he was there. And we went to see Ron on Friday. And it yeah. wasn't we were almost home that his daughter sent a message to let us know that he's at Leesburg Hospital. So we went there to see him Saturday. Yes. Yeah. Was <clears throat> in the bed trying to eat some that that little snack they brought him. Yeah. Looked up at us and he said, "Oh, my cousins Joyce and Marva, yeah. <laughs> as plain as ever." Oh, you know, and so I mean, and that just just brought joy to our hearts, you know, to hear him talk. Oh, yes. Yes. And he, yes. he talked. He talked. He talked. That's wonderful news. So Mark talked to his wife yesterday, and he's now um. Learn to walk on the walker. Yes, yes. He still has a ways to go, but he's uh -huh. a praise God. Praise God. <laughs> I uh, yeah, made a big improvement in these four weeks. Mm -hmm. I uh, I just want you guys to know now. I know all of us are praying. We are praying really hard for everybody that's on these these prayer lists. <clears throat> I just don't want to miss when you guys do the praise report because that encourages me too, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. It really encourages me. Uh, there was somebody else I wanted to ask about. Sister Jewel. Yes, so. Go ahead, Larry. Yeah, I, I will say the last thing that I heard was that she's still uh, making progress. She's still doing physical therapy. Yeah. Um, and one of the things that, you know, was she was she's working to get back to where she was before the incident happened, because yeah. even before the incident happened, um, she was having some issues with her knees. You know, right. So, um, this is just making it a little bit more challenging to get back where she was. But she's gone from like taking you know, a few steps to where now she's walking, you know, up and down the hallway. And um, it's going to be, uh, they're working to try to get her to get, you know, go outside and be able to walk around in the yard, you know. And, and yes. Hasn't yes. made it there yet, but she's, you know, working her way she's out. She's been going to way. Bible study inside though, right? Mm -hmm. Is she still trying yes. to? That's yes. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. And how about, um, uh, um, Tina and Elton's mom. Did, oh, she has that surgery on the fifth, right? The sixth or fifth. Yeah. She has gallbladder surgery. How's Tina? Yes, they did say she's gonna have gallbladder surgery, and I believe Tina and Tommy are supposed to be going. Yeah, there for that. <clears throat> okay. Wonderful. And, and they're celebrating birthdays today. Brother yeah, Elton, you all told me that. Yeah. Did they, oh no, they couldn't go out together because <laughs> they're all, all in different places, right? Yeah. 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 Well, that's good. Praise God. Brother Mort, you still okay? You still doing good? Yeah, I'm doing good. I went there and got an injection in my ankle, but I'm doing pretty good with my knees. That's good. He's that's very wonderful. good. So yeah. I have. I have two new knees and one bum ankle. <laughs> <laughs> that, but that's, that's an old injury from 1976, you know? Yeah. Mm. I knocked off a bicycle, but I'm okay. It could be worse. Yes, mm. right. And you all had, go ahead. This church just discovered that he also plays the drum. Now they have him on the drum. <laughs> and right. I, and speaking about that, please put him in your purse uh, for Good Friday because they want him to do this song. Down at the cross. <laughs> uh, at, at the church. And, you know, we're going to have some people from outside the church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's supposed to be playing the, the drums too, right? No. No? The drums is the seventh. The seventh, seventh, seventh but seventh. Friday, you have to play this song and he's been practicing and practicing. Yeah, yeah. 
thought that it come out really good for him. Yeah, what are cross. you going to play, Brother Mort? What, what song are you going to play? Down at the Cross. Down at the Cross. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, <it> did. <clears throat> I yeah. want to sing, sing the old rugged cross, but I can't sing anything right yeah. now. I may play that down uh, on the seventh. The old rugged cross. Yeah, or maybe it's a good maybe good further between the the words, the seven words. Yes. Mm. Yes. yes. <laughs> what time is your church, Mark? What time does it start? Eleven o'clock. Eleven. Okay. <laughs> And Sister yeah. Mary, I messed around and lost a piece of paper with the name of your church on it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really enjoyed watching your services, and but they were doing some special stuff. So now that they're back to normal, maybe I can, can get them again, right? Sure, sure. What's the it's, name of the church one more time? It's Christian Cultural Center. Abbreviated by CCC. Okay. <clears throat> dot, dot org or dot com or what? Dot org. Dot org. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll be watching after. I don't watch everything on Sunday, but I'll try and watch it during the week when, you know, I need to <clears throat> see something, be encouraged. Yes. Yes. Yeah. They'll okay. be glad to have you watch. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What did you guys hear about the bridge that broke down or oh. fell? Oh, yeah, in Baltimore. Oh, yes. 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 It, yes. It's, my daughter and her husband used that bridge to come to New York. Wow. Mm -hmm. And he. He had just returned home. She's yeah. still here, but he had <clears throat> just returned home the day before. Mm. Yeah. So we were so grateful, you know, that he was yeah. on that bridge. Yes. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. awesome how they had a, a matter of minutes to stop everybody from yes. getting off the bridge, you know. But I have never in my whole life, I've lived in Oakland for like a total of 40 years. I've seen lots of containers on ships. I've never seen one stacked like that before in my life. Mm. They say it was 10, 10 stories high. Wow. I, just, I don't know what they were doing with that ship. I, I, I'm going to leave that alone. But it, <laughs> it just was something really eerie about how that ship just ran right into that bridge. And and uh, my daughter texted me like 134 saying, Look what just happened, Lord have mercy. And I looked at it and I went, but the ship, the lights kept going on and off. And I'm going, these ships know how to go out of these ports. So what, what's happening? But anyway, only God knows. Mm -hmm. And I hope that they can figure out what happened. Very discomforting. <clears throat> In, in Panama a few years ago, that almost happened to one of the one of the small bridges that connects that the town has to use to get across the canal. Mm. They have to use it. Yeah. Luckily they were able to bring it under control and avoid that collision. Mm. <clears throat> but that Let's... was was close, close to the bridge, very close. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, can I, I want to share something that's uh, like off base and you know like off topic rather but you know every Wednesday our dog comes in here and she settles in and joins <laughs> us for Bible study you told her you guys something See, that's her <laughs> right behind like she's sitting right behind uh, my phone right here <laughs> And yeah. she's just coming in and, and, and she's just listening and her ears be moving like she's really <laughs> paying attention. That's amazing. Look how she's <laughs> curled up. She is and so she, she could be anywhere she wanna be in the house, but she comes sit right here and, and, and after Bible study is over, 
She goes she's going on about her business too. <laughs> she stays there until you cut it off and leave. Yep. Yep. And she yep. knows we're talking about it right now because look how she perked up. Yeah, right. she did perk up. She did perk up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's but yeah, amazing. She, every mm -hmm. week. I think she knows you guys' voice now. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> so yeah. and, and sit up. <laughs> yeah, it's time for Bible studies. Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Joyce, she definitely knows your voice because you were there a lot, right? Yes, but she doesn't pay attention to me. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why, cause. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Martin, you gonna practice tonight? Yeah, every night I'm in here practicing. You want to practice on us tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Brother Larry, you don't mind, do you? Mm -mm. No. Nope. If, if we're good, let me let me try. If you get close to the computer, I think it'll work. Listen, I'm on the phone today. I'm on the phone. Okay. Uh, no, it's not working. Not working? Not coming in, right? No. Oh, okay. I don't know why. It doesn't like the phone or the computer for some reason. I don't either. Because you started out, you were playing on it. Yes. I mean, when you first started. Wait, let me follow this far back. Let me try this far back and see. Let me see. Let me put this. Go ahead. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're doing this thing. Oh. It's about 53. I don't think Zoom likes music because it's yeah. the same thing for, for our service. Yes. But, you know, Platforms, it, it it works like Facebook or you know YouTube or some some other. Have to tell it to share audio on the video, not just your stream. Mm. Wouldn't come through, huh? No, mm -hmm. it's not. Okay. Well, thank you for trying, though. <laughs> yeah, no problem. What I do, I I record it and then send it out to everybody. Okay. Send it to Joyce and then maybe she can send it to Joyce Danelli and to you and to Myrna. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and don't tell Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Why don't you say send it to Marva? Because <laughs> <laughs> I send it to Joyce and Marva. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Tommy okay. was, you're breaching the contract. That's right. <laughs> I was going to come on. There's Martha. some kind of way that Carla hooked it up when we had the prayer service for mm -hmm. Ron and, and, and Fredo. She uh -huh. got that music in the Zoom some, at some kind of way, and she had the music going. Right. <laughs> the sharing, Myrna. Oh, that's what it's called. There's another thing we we're missing. I think she did. She, she shared it on a, on a different. I forget. Uh, maybe it's not called sharing, but it's. Yeah, she put put something and shared her screen because when she played, you couldn't see everybody, right? Uh, I I don't remember. Okay, I, I think I know. She... I had spoken to Chandra, and Carla said, "Tell Chandra to just add me as the host, and I would do it." And she did. Yeah, yeah, she did a screen share. Mm, okay. Sister Joyce, you're on mute. Just to get you. I was going to say, I got to learn. I got to play with that share, that screen share thing. I'd like to know how to do that, too. I learned it is. Oh, but I've forgotten it all. And of course, I can't, you know, practice it anymore, so. 
But Brother Larry, he has worked a couple of times with the music by Screen Cherry. We were able to hear. It just, it's like random. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Mm. Yeah, but I remember you played several things on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. But I think, see, I don't know if it's different, Larry. Uh, you Correct me if I'm wrong, but when when Larry did his screen, Sherry was doing it from a um, <clears throat> like, computer. Yeah, and also it was like you were playing something from YouTube or something. Mm -hmm. So it was like it was already, it was something already produced and you were just sharing it with us. But yeah. we're, we're trying to do it live and I think there may be something different. You That's the difference, yes. Live, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shut down. All right. Well, we definitely had a another good study. You know, we, we talked about the the topic and, and off topic, and it just had a good discussion. It was a good discussion tonight. Thank yeah. you guys so much, and that everybody who wasn't here, they missed out. But uh, we look forward to them coming back next week and just picking up where we always leave off. And yeah. I think we're leaving better than we were before we came in, as usual. <clears throat> so who and, has uh, next week? I do. All right, Sister Joyce. Jay? Samaritan woman? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. I look okay. forward to that. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we'll be in for a treat. <laughs> Being for a treat. Well, if there's nothing else, um, is there well, is there anything else? Let me ask that instead of just suggesting it. Is there anything else? Oh yes, you all pray also for Cleveland for his knees. He's battling having any kind of knee surgery, and and <laughs> I'm hoping that he doesn't either. He's been back and forth and they've tried all kinds of things and braces and shots and everything, but his knee seems to be getting worse. So we're praying for it, but you all add him to the list also. Okay. Amen. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, Sister Joyce, if, if you will, I was going to ask you to uh, take us out in prayer today. Will you take us out in prayer? I most certainly will. I... Prayer is what I do. <laughs> I'm looking forward every, week, every Tuesday to our Watchman Prayer Ministry when we pray. Me and Cleveland pray together and and I'm just trying to get more and more comfortable with praying and learning the different kinds of prayer. So it's beautiful. I'd love to pray. <clears throat> I want to do this prayer that I always open up with. It's praying the names of God. Mm -hmm. So if all heads are bowed and hearts are clear, I would like to say, Father, we are so grateful. We are so thankful. We praise your holy name. We praise you not for what you do, but, but because of who you are. You are our father, and we thank you so much for sending your son, Jesus, to be the salvation of our souls. Lord, how excellent is your name. Heaven and earth proclaim your greatness and your loving kindness is always toward us in all of creation. May your name be revered as we offer you our full respect, honor, and admiration. You deserve it. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, you are worthy to receive honor and glory. Thou art worthy, O Lord. May the nature of parenthood that nourishes us 
into right relationship with you. Be forever with us. We bow down in humble submission to you, Jehovah, our Lord, the self-existent one. We worship you, Elohim, the strong, the faithful one. We obey you, Adonijah, our Lord and master. We trust you, El Shaddai, the all-sufficient one. We submit to your authority over all things, El Elyon, the <clears throat> most high God. We seek your guidance, El Roy, the God who sees all things. We thank you, Jehovah Jireh, for you are the Lord who provides. And we honor you, Jehovah Rophe, the God who hears. Hear us today as we have come to study your word, as we have studied your word, as we have talked and expounded and shared and worshiped and praised your holy name. Thank you for this group of five tonight. <clears throat> Take care of those that were not able to be with us tonight. God bless the birthday celebrations. May they be happy and peaceful and just thrills for the birthday recipients. Bless Brother Elton and Felicia. Lord, do a mighty work in their lives. Bless Brother Tommy and Sister Tina, Lord. They are so special to you, Lord. We thank you for them in this group. Bless Sister Jewel, Lord, as she continues to recover. Yes, Keep Lord. her close in your hands, Lord God. Bless each and every doctor, nurse, and attendant who has anything to do with her healing, Lord. Yes. Speak to their hearts and minds. Show them what they need to do. You be their divine guidance. Lord, we thank you tonight for Sister Jewel and for this book that we are studying from. We just thank you so much, Lord, because we have learned so much and we're not done yet. Thank you for our teacher, Brother Larry, yes. who comes week after week he puts his whole heart and mind into bringing us these lessons. We know that he works and he has a busy schedule, but he does not neglect to do your will, oh God. <clears throat> Thank you for Sister Marvin. And we ask that you would continue to bless her and Brother Ron. Bless Thank both God. of them, the Lord, in their recoveries from whatever it is that you would have to do in their lives, would you please do it, Lord? Do it for all of us, Lord God. It is their desire that Brother Ron will be healed to the extent that he can travel and recoup and go to live near their children in Michigan. And we, that, we don't feel that's asking too much, Lord God. And we know you can do all things. So we just ask that you would open the door, make way for Brother Ron, help him to feel better, help him to just get to the point where he can say, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go to Detroit and you will open that door for him. And for Sister Joyce, who labors tirelessly, Lord God, she's such a good sister. Thank you, Sister Joyce. Thank you. Thank you for her quiet and calm and spirit. Thank yes. you for sending her to be with Sister Mama and Brother Ron. Lord, we know that all things work together for good for those who love you mm -hmm. and who are called according to your purpose. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord, for the good report from Sister Myrna's brother, Alfredo. I'm so happy to hear, Lord, that he is coming back <clears throat> This way, Sister Mother and Sister Joyce are living witnesses that you are working miracles, Lord God, and we thank you so much for that. We thank you, Lord, 
for Sister Myrna, who continues to join us. And I thank you that she comes in and she speaks to us and allows us to hear her beautiful voice. And she'll even share sometimes. Thank you, Lord, for that. Lord, we love each other on this, this Zoom Bible study. <clears throat> we ask that you will continue to let the love flow from heart to heart and that we will be made better by <clears throat> each other's spirits, Lord. We are all different, but yet we are all the same. We are your children and we love you. We love you, Lord, today because you cared for us in such a special way. We praise you. We lift you up. We magnify your name. And that's why our hearts are filled with praise. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for each and every family represented. Bless those that are not able to be here. Bring them back next week. Safe and whole. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Well, thank you so much, Sister Joyce. That was wonderful. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank Amen. You. Beautiful. Thank Beautiful you. prayer. Powerful prayer. Yes. Yes. yes Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Jay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. We're going into Easter. Happy Resurrection yes. Sunday. Yes. 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 Sunday yes. to all of you. Yes, we're celebrating Maudie Thursday tomorrow, right? Uh -huh. Yes. yes. So we okay. tomorrow. And all churches, right? Celebrate Maudie Thursday uh -huh. and Good Friday. I'm looking Friday. forward to it. Yes. All of the seven last seven, seven. last words that we'll seven get. Words. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our church is doing it a little different. Instead of them doing the seven last words all this week, they're having the ministers do not the seven last words, but the days leading up to the cross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every day this week, it's called the Holy Week. Oh. And it's really very interesting. It's mm -hmm. It, it, I'm getting a lot out of it. It's it's a different thing than the seven last words. So I'll be able to come home. I'll be able to come home and tune in and hear the seven last words from Alan Temple or somebody. Okay, but the holy the holy week is proven to be very good because they talked about the Sadducees and all these people that were that supposed to know God and doing His work. But yet they denied Jesus, the son of God, and getting ready to take him and hang him on a tree. That's, he said, you know, the scripture where he says, they looked and saw a sepulcher and it was full of whatever that is that be in sepulchers, the corpse, that's the way they looked at, at this this picture of all these people that were gathering to crucify Jesus. I mean, making up lies on it and all kinds of things. It, they, they were dead. It's like the Valley of Dry Bones, no life. So, and he said, and think about it. We're all, we're all sinners saved by the grace mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ and what he did for us. And there's none righteous. The Bible says we're all as filthy rags. So we have to check ourselves. Mm -hmm. That was resounding so loudly. We can't be holy than thou or more self-righteous. We can't right. look at the sinners and, and say, oh my goodness, they're sinners. <laughs> we are all sinners <laughs> saved by grace. So thank you all. I didn't mean to get into that triad. I just thought about what <laughs> Uh, Here, Alan Temple changed it to seven cries. Seven cries. Seven cries from the cross. And it starts at 12 noon every day? Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Always right. oh, going to be seven, seven women preaching yes. Friday. It's going to be seven women ministers. Yes. 
start at 11. It's on Zoom, so I can send the link if anybody wants, you know. Oh, that's I hear all of these seven words, and I love to hear the women speak, too. I do. Yeah, it's going to be women, and that's where Mark will play that Friday. Okay. Oh, wow. You're going to send the link in a in the group text? I'm going to send it, like, oh, Joyce have everybody email. I will send it to Joyce if it's not a problem, and she can send it out. Okay. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, You're welcome. The nice thing, mine um, was because of the time difference, I'll be able to relax and watch Alan Temples after I see, you know, I can watch that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alan Temples later because 12 o'clock is 3 o'clock for us here. Right. Well, 12 oh. o'clock. There, there. Yeah. And, and there's a, the seven women also. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Alan Temple for years I've had seven women. Yes. As yes. long as I can remember. Yes. So please. so what is Detroit time? To California time? time? 11, she told us 11, it's 11, Detroit Detroit. 11 in the morning. So that would be uh, 8 o'clock your time, Joyce. Oh, 8 o'clock. Oh, yeah. I can watch that tomorrow. I sure can. Oh, you're, you're three hours... Um, from Detroit, I think yeah. it's three hours. Detroit, yeah. Chicago, they're on the same timeline, right? Yeah, right. Oh, two hours. I'll look. I'll check. Good Friday, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Just send the link. Okay. I'll make sure I get it, okay? Okay. Send it to me and I will send it on. Okay, okay. Joyce. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. She says she's saying computer, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then Alan Temples would be on the TV. Yeah, we can find we can streamed on YouTube or Facebook yeah. or yeah. Venmo. I mean everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, well, I I'm checking out. Good night, you guys. You guys have good night. a good night. 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 Mark, yes. Did you know Ursula's husband? <laughs> Ursula Leiter? Yes. No, I didn't know him. Okay, because he passed away and and is into my Good Friday service stuff because he's being buried on that day. Wow. His, his, his service and everything. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But okay. She's Love my it. friend, so I'll be there. If, if you have a number, send me a number, Myrna. I will. Okay. We're from the same class. Yeah. Huh? We're from the same class of six. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Thank okay. you, dear. Have a good night. Love you. Good night, Myrna. Love you too. Good night, Toti. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.